Tina. Hi, I'm not on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell this is my first time being behind the camera? Um, oh, so. Oh, the channel. Oh, is that what we're doing? Okay, yeah. Yeah, fine, right. No, but what we were going to start the vlog with, Cam, was <laughs> leaving on a jet plane. Uh, I don't know <laughs> where I'll be back again. Yeah. However, we might not be leaving on a jet plane now, might we, Cam? I'm glad the wing mirror isn't shot. Well, the problem is, I'm having an absolutely lovely time here with Tina. <laughs> we are, and I'm not putting on my camera voice this time. No. Um, uh, and we're having a bit of a boogie, bit of a dance in the car, and then I was meant to be chief navigator, and that went straight out the window, apparently. Literally out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Cam, pan it back to you, because it's definitely looking out the windscreen wipers. Um, we singing a bit of Westlife, a bit of the Carpenters. Yes, we are chatting about who we love when we were younger. And then all of a sudden, Carol and yeah. Chet are sat now. And yeah, we've totally gone past the exit. So now we are, it is fine. We've still got two hours that we're going to get there or maybe an hour and a half before the flight. Where are we going anyway, by the Sorry. way? Sorry. Yeah, so hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel <laughs> here on Life on the Left Train. <laughs> Better late than never. <laughs> we are going to... <laughs> Kilkenny in Ireland. It is Kilkenny, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, um, the lovely Red Mills, Foreign Equine, and Carly Martin are flying us both out there with some other lovely people who hopefully you will see later on this. Will um, introduce you to? We will. Right, introduce I'm just you panicking. To. We're not meant to be turning off at this one. <laughs> oh, sorry. <Beep>! sorry. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Right, let me put this down and uh, we'll see you at the airport, at the airport. where we'll explain a bit more <laughs> if we get there. Right, it's going down. <laughs> it's still recording. Yeah, yeah, pick up the pace. Now. You might be a uh, bloody good instructor, but you're a rubbish navigator. I was just having a good time. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Needless to say, <laughs> we are running. Well, we're running, we're not running late. Well, no, no, just you want a glass of Prosecco when we get there, that's what you said. <laughs> that's a, <neat. laughs> yeah. a celebratory, we, we made it. <laughs> We're not running late, we're just not running as on time as we would no. have been. If we hadn't... Then we've got no bag checking. True, if we hadn't done a six mile detour. Could <laughs> <laughs> have been worse, it could have been a 20 mile detour. <laughs> Think of the positives here, what, I'm what, what a life coach saying. <laughs> very true. I'm trying very hard to remain positive. Yeah. So much so, I'm going to put the camera down, tell you a bit more about what we're doing and where we're going. Very exciting. Because he's actually not that good at vlogging either, is he? No. <laughs> that was a, <laughs> that was a corker. I'm good in front of the camera, but the... Uh... That was a corker of an intro. How good is he at crossing the road? Did you look left and right? No, but they should stop, shouldn't they? <laughs> right, let's get yeah. through security. I'm going this way, I've got a suitcase. And, yeah. Rendezvous, fingers crossed. When we are en route to Dublin. We're fine. Dublin. We're fine. Whoop, whoop. Tina's panicking now, it's fine. I'm not panicking now, we're here. <laughs> but I do want to get through security. <laughs> Cameron was not upset. That not that busy. But I'm not vlogging in um, the airport. Uh, and then he takes a call. Um, uh, but yes, we've got so through yes. security successfully. Uh, Whee! Uh, Thankfully. Uh, He's got another so coffee yes. on the go. Hello. Always talking. We've met up with Elliot. Oh, he's also on the phone. Everybody's on the phone, apart from me, basically. Um, and we're now going to our gate, gate number 31. And then we will be on a route to Dublin. I'm very excited. Never have I ever been to Ireland before, so I'm very excited to have been invited on this trip. I'm currently looking a little bit confused as to where gate 31 might be. Come on, Cam, this way. It's like taking a child. Right, hello. <laughs> <laughs> so he just said the button go beep. <laughs> right, gate 31, Dublin, Ryanair. Have you introduced the you third member of our no, trip so like far? Are, you, are we in Lens? We are in Lens. This is Elliot. Lovely Elliot Smith, oh. who is also from down the southwest. Cameron does much more Rapping. elaborate introductions, don't you? <laughs> I'm the presenter. You are the, you are the presenter of this vlog. <laughs> I started the intro. And it's Elliot basically my vlog. Is a show jumper? Yes. Left. Yep. Actually, well, I have some. I will have some footage from Bicton Five Star, where yes. you did the six. It's, no, uh, no, the, the high jump, high jump demo. Yeah, with oh, Alfie we're Bradstock. going down. We're going down. Going down. And that was when you spontaneously got asked to present it. With Spencer like was meant to be doing five it. Five minutes notice, yeah. wasn't it, Cam? And you did a very good job. Yes. I, I didn't really know what I was saying. I just kept it on the audience to cheer. 
but Elliot unfortunately is currently out of action due to a bad fall at Hickstead. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I got my windows. Clip at the front she did. and secure as shown. Oh, yeah. To inflate yeah. the life jacket, I normally always have on the red toggle. There is a mouthpiece for further inflation and a light to attract attention. Do not inflate your life jacket until you are outside the aircraft. For four tables, please study the safety card located within the area you are seated. I don't know if Ryan and you G and T is on board or not. Specific I'm to this aircraft type. It is I'm essential wrong. for cabin size and instructions for the choice. We would like to remind you that See you soon, Dublin. Anywhere. Guilty addiction. <laughs> What's it called? Polytopia. <laughs> I'm going to stop now. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> it's not looking very tropical. No. <laughs> We blinked in grey skies. <laughs> Great. Oh, I don't know, it was a little bit bluer up there than it was two seconds ago. Lots of green. Lots of wet. Interesting. Lots of water. Lots of golf. Robbie would yeah, like it. It looks very much like equipment. Yeah, it looks very much like Cornwall. <laughs> Have you seen any ponies <laughs> yet? We are horse Bristol. hunting, remember. Uh, no, we're horse shopping. Horse shopping. A bit different Not than horse hunting. Explain the difference. Well, we're going to shop for Horse. horses. We see stuff. But we're not necessarily coming home with one. Hunting. Horse hunting. I haven't seen one yet. What I'm sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see one down there. Yeah. I know, I expected to see one by now. I expected to see a nice grey that Meg might have her eye on. We've arrived, we're in the store, and we're being put to work already. <laughs> I'm going tack cleaning with their innovative the new... The brand new Belvoir tack cleaner mitts. Yeah. They are the best thing ever, they so really it's are. It's a new addition to the step one, so you have your spray, but now we have the mitt. So it's an evolution of the white, so it's a full, full glove, as you can see, that you get your hand in. But it makes for the whole tack cleaning experience so easy, because in one swipe you can get the front, the back... Ergonomically designed. <laughs> My shoes, shoes definitely, definitely need, need uh, yeah, they are. <laughs> so for the bits like in, in yeah. your buckles and all the hard to Getting your thumb. And, and you can use it inside out and you can top it up with spray and things. But there's a lot oh, of, yeah. you know, how you feel, there's a lot of products. So you can, on. yeah, exactly. You can definitely use it go more than go once. Go yeah. yeah, absolutely. So you just pop it back in and, and seal it. And it's biodegradable, the battery derived. So yeah, it's fantastic. There's a resealable tab here. So if you just did want to do a quick wipe of your boots before going to the range. Oh, yes, your boots. Exactly. So you've after, after you've washed your clothes. Yeah, exactly. Off, quick wipe and you're good to go. You pull it up, pull it back in, it seals and it's ready to go. I'm definitely going to be doing You need that. But I'm going to be. That will fit in my suitcase. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that will. I'm going to find a few things that will fit in my suitcase to fly home with you me. You need that for That's after going... Portman. I need it for where Portman? After Portman, yeah. When oh. you finish there, because it's going to be muddy on your boots. Oh, it will indeed. Right, if I do your shoes now, will you do my boots for me at Portman? Yeah, yeah maybe, if I'm feeling nice. <laughs> you can have like one clean shoe and one not. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to have to do both. <laughs> <laughs> the things I do for you! Looking at them. <laughs> Sit them down in the chair there, like a proper service. Yes. <laughs> Straight to black, okay? The, um, are the two shoes looking a lot different now? Comparison. <laughs> Wait, let me do it a bit. <laughs> Teeny, you're getting into this too much now. I know, look, 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 look at the difference. So Wait a minute. Very good. How dare she get one? I don't know. Have I got to pay you for this now? First, first round's on you later. <laughs> and that's just step one. That's your, oh. that's your cleaning. So before you have to, with any kind of tack ritual, it's so important to clean, then condition. So this is, as it says in the tin, step two. Step two. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? It smells nice as well. I know, I'm a bit like yes, more Moreish. I don't think that's the right word. <laughs> Uh, that's your oh, thank you. Do you have a swap? <laughs> so dried quickly, too. I feel like I'm getting great service here. Really? I'm going to come back to the store every week, every this. month now. It's going to have to be a service you set up in the store. <laughs> People coming up their shoes polished after they've had their coffee and cake. <laughs> it's, not, it's not.
not me doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Be here every Saturday at 11. <laughs> You actually look presentable to Thank take you to the mill much. now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take you to the mill and get you all dusty. Or to take you out better. on the town. You've got to do a bit of dancing in there later. <laughs> that does look so I suppose you're right, it's straight, straight on you. Oop, we get the floor yeah. then. <laughs> you clearly haven't been using this enough yet. No, I haven't. It does smell nice though, doesn't it? Really lovely. Cameron James had a great idea of this in the room. It's just like people though, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah. They literally have things for all pet fur baby mummies to buy. I mean, if I could, I would most definitely be taking that home for Reggie Puss Puss No See. They would have a whale of a time on that. Got the Fairfax and Favour range collections over here. Never actually seen that colour in the flesh. Very, very nice. I should say very, very nice. Ooh, the wedges. Love them in the summer. They're really good because your heels then don't slip down through the grass if you're at events. Oh, more of that lovely colour. That is too cute! <laughs> and it looks a lot like Devon. <laughs> and it's raining, it's even more like Devon. It is beautiful. And we're going to the mill for a tour to see how the food's made. Are you excited, Elliot? Yes, very excited, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. And Cam's going to test us on all the facts that we learn this evening, aren't you? Yeah. So we've got to make sure we learn it in depth how many, and absorb all the How many winners, um, grade one winners, did they feed at Cheltenham? 80%. And how many of all winners? 65. 63, wasn't it? 63. 63, 63 sorry. <laughs> that means that uh, lots of the runners at Cheltenham were... Well, 80% of the grade one winners, winners were all fed, were by, all red fed by red mills. They've been nourishing, supporting and caring for them. <laughs> since you <laughs> 1908. Yeah, but Cardi Martin's been going since when, Tina? 1765. That is a long, long time, That's isn't it? a very it? long time. Fascinating yeah. fact of the day, but we'll talk more about that later. Because we're nearly at the mill, are we? Well, we'll talk about that one tomorrow yeah. because we're going to see where... Well, I've already yeah. polished your boots. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go to the factory where that is made also. Yeah. All right, ready? <laughs> you want us to check what your hair looks like? Does it look all right? No, it looks good, yeah. Yeah, oh, good. <laughs> Elliot, do you need a little look as well? <laughs> you want to check, have you managed to style your fringe yes. like Cameron? Yeah. Mm, <laughs> Mine's a bit longer. Uh, so Mike's giving us a tour. Yes, indeed. You're very welcome to Gorris Bridge. So we're going to see you a lot today. Exciting. exciting. Really, really exciting. Are you ready, exciting. everybody? Yeah, we've got a whole team They've behind They've bought bins. the umbrellas in case you need them. <laughs> How much of this tour is taking place outside then? Uh, only a small bit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a farmer dropping off his grain? Uh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. We have about 85,000 tonnes of wheat, barley and oats coming in here. So we got to try and dry it, cool it and get it into a store quickly as we can because you don't want it sitting there uh, damp and come in maybe at 19, 20, 21 percent moisture. You want to get that down to below 14 so that it's stable. Um, so this is a new dryer we just put in last year. It can do 150 ton an hour. Wow. Really just do upgrade and, and get it uh, cooled and, and dried very, very quickly. Wowzers. It's called a steam flaker. So obviously you've got to maize corn. Yeah, that, this is essentially corn flakes. So all the information about the, 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 the
when the power, what the temperatures are, what the run rate is, the maximum information there, and uh, if something goes wrong, it's a blockage or a breakdown, it will flag up as an alarm, and uh, we can take, it, take action or get the on site mechanics and electricians and fitters uh, pretty much around the clock. Has so he got to monitor all five screens at once? Yeah, yeah. He's, He's a clever chap. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting very well. Oh my yeah. God. I haven't actually shown that much on the vlog because it was so noisy in there. Yeah, it was really so noisy. We and could hear what he was saying. There's there was a also camera some high tech stuff that we don't want anyone else to secret, find out. Top yes. secret science. That they do just here. Yeah. Um, but it's amazing. I think it's, it's a bit like our own feed. You just eat you it, take it for and, and you're like well that's yeah. how you get it and yeah well and like I, I said it's almost like you think it grows on trees but yeah it doesn't. totally and it's actually really amazing to come to the best feed company in the world in the world and exactly <laughs> and be able to see all, all the over different the world. bits that you're like oh my goodness that's how they get from grain to that bit to that bit and you even had a taste mid i had a lovely taste it was very nice um <laughs> Guys, uh, lorry. And okay <laughs> oh he's letting us across thank you <laughs> Right, we're now going, where are we going? Why are we going to the river? To the reed beds. <laughs> the filtration system. Ooh. Uh, filter through those natural reed, uh, reed bed systems. Um, just far side of that little bank there, you've got the Barrow River. And um, the reason why uh, all these mills are all here, there used to be four mills in this village um, way back, say 100, 150 years ago, because you had the transport hub, you could get down the river to New Ross and you could export uh, things away and mm -hmm. you could import uh, other things. So um, obviously, you know, before electrification, you needed power, water was a source of power. Any town or village that had water, had a river, um, was where well, you could stick a wheel in the river and uh, there was 150 in this county alone, the county of Kilkenny, of which there were four in uh, in this village. Um, the Connollys put a red roof on there, so they called it the Red Mills. That's why, uh, because people were saying, oh, go into the Red Mills, you know, as opposed to the other three mills, uh, if you're bringing in your, your grain. Um, so, this is, we, we now have, um, as a large manufacturing site, we now have a EPA, Environmental Protection uh, Agency, uh, a license, so they come along every year, audit us, make sure we're not putting out too much emissions. Uh, one of the key things is water quality, um, because with uh, increase in farming, a lot of nitrates in the water now in Ireland, so it's getting to a point where we have to be more um, stewarding of, of that. So um, yeah, we, we, this, this whole initiative here is, is just to make sure that we're not polluting, we're good system, and we're uh, adhering to the, uh, what we call NOx, naturally occurring prohibited substances. So these are we talked about the coffee mug earlier, um, <laughs> you know, caffeine, morphine, and um, theobromine, probably the big ones that are most worried about, most likely to cause the doping events. Very, very easy to contaminate a feed um, uh, substance. They're called naturally occurring because they occur in nature. You know, you've got a lot of morphine poppy production in the UK for both bakery and for um, uh, pharmaceutical morphine is a painkiller. Um, so if somebody is growing grain next to a field of poppies, it can be very easy for that to get into the uh, horse food chain. Or if somebody is transporting poppies, then they go and bring in a load of oats into a mill. Then if the, the truck isn't being cleaned out properly, you could have a potential problem. So what we do here is we screen every incoming raw material and every outgoing finished feed. There's so many different substances. If you look at the FEI prohibited the substance list, mm -hmm. there are dozens and dozens of substances on there. Same with the, the, the racing BHA and the, and, and the Irish racing authorities. So we have to make sure that our customers are getting feed, that they feed it, they win a race or a competition, they're not going to fail a dope test at mm -hmm. the end. So what it involves doing is taking the sample of feed, uh, grinding it, and then passing a liquid through it, and it ends up going into a little vial, and it goes into a machine um, later on. So what we're trying to do is flush all the metabolites out of the feed, and then uh, put them into an analyzer, which you'll see out in the, in the, in the latter stage of the lab, and uh, run that screening for the various prohibited substances. A lot of, like, most Batches of each product are kept for the shelf life of the food. So that if anybody does have a problem in the future, it can be taken and tested. So as you can see, there's lots of batches here. You're starting to get up towards seven, seven, eight months of having fed, but that's all come back now again, and the shipping times are 
Yeah, it was nice and cool, five degrees. Yeah. <laughs> Leave your limoncello in here, it's lovely. <laughs> so this is all stuff that's going to go around the world. So I didn't hear about those uh, uh, containers, I'm shipping containers, so you know the pallets are smaller because we want to fit two pallets side by side in the container. Camel feed? What are your camel feed products called? Uh, <laughs> racing camel mix, uh, breeding camel uh, mix, there's a breeding camel balancer, 21%. And we have a beauty camel formula as well. So <laughs> well was what was it? <laughs> There's a beauty camel. <laughs> yeah. Do they do like beauty. camel pageants? Yeah, yeah. Seriously. We'll send you the link on the website. Yeah. Yeah. They are, they are we'll good. be inserting it in here, guys. <laughs> Fed by Red Mills. <laughs> Time for another room tour guys, so it's an hour or so later, we finished the tour and now we have come to Kilkenny where we are staying in the, oh my goodness, what was it called again? There we go, the Kilkenny Hibernian Hotel, which is absolutely lovely. Look. Beautiful place. And I'm going to give you a quick little room tour because the bed looks absolutely lush. Huge, again, purely just for me. Oh, some goodies. We'll open that in a minute. Sit on the bed and have a look. Bathroom. Definitely gonna be jumping in the shower in a sec because my eyes have suddenly gone rather tired and I need waking up a bit. But first, let's have a quick look at what's in here. A lovely branded coat, which is very kind of them. And then in this bag, oh, Sammy's gonna love me when I get home. We have some dental sticks, a cap. We all know Tina loves a cap. Some soggy. Ooh. Oh, I was like, what's that? I thought at first when I started pulling out, I was like, oh, it's going to be a ball flinger for Sam. It's a feed stirrer. That is brilliant. Super duper handy. Okay, Sammy is a spoiled boy. Some more treats for Sam Sam from their Go Native range. Oh, a lanyard, always handy. Actually, could put the lorry keys on that. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's a snood. I saw that when we were at the um, tour. They gave us a hat and a snood. Oh, that means I've got two hats. Lucky me. Spoiled girly. Um, something else at the bottom in here. What is that? Okay, not gonna lie, that took me a few minutes to figure out. I'm pretty sure it's one of those things. <laughs> it's got Red Mills Foreign Equine and Carde Martin's tagline on it. Nourish, support, care. I'm pretty sure it's one of those things that you stick to your phone and then you can hold it easily. I think, please tell me I am right. I've never had one of these before. I'm gonna give it a go. Always been intrigued to try one. Probably need two hands, ideally. That. I've never actually used one of them in my life, but I've seen people use them and know that they're meant to be nice and handy for stabilising your phone in your hand, which actually is good for when you're filming Instagram stories too. So, win-win for me. Thank you, Red Mills. Very good. Very, very grateful for the lovely goodie bag and very, very grateful for the lovely bed, which I'm actually... Might just have 10 minute power nap before jumping in the shower. Because in all honesty, I am feeling cream crackered. I wish it wasn't, because I want to go and embrace being here and being in Ireland for the very first time. I'm excited, but I'm tired. So yeah, I think 10 minute power nap, shower, freshen up, then rendezvous with Cam and Elliot and Emma and the rest of the team down at the bar at six o'clock. Got through the influence of the thing, haven't I? <laughs> How pretty! What have you got, Cam? What is yours? It's doesn't look as pretty as mine, though, does it? I'm, I'm sure it would taste delightful, but mine's um, very pretty. In take two. <laughs> I thought that was salmon, it's not. Ginger. Cheers, everybody! Thanks for having us, Red Mills! Cheers! Oh, I hope that's worth it. Very much, everyone.
welcome to day two in Ireland. What do you say in the morning in Ireland? Top of the morning to you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing they do. Yes, we know that. So we are now at the... What did she say to call it? <laughs> when I said notch. Persil Inch. Yep. Persil's Inch. Persil's Inch for a manufacturing plant tour. <laughs> trying to break it <laughs> It's a very secure place, clearly. <laughs> this is where they make all of the foreign equine products and the Carde Martin products, yes? Am I correct? Yep, yeah, and mm -hmm. foreign pet care. Samuel's doggy treats. And normal dog. The Arthur Cat. Uh, yeah, the so we're going to have a tour. See how it's made. And do some sniff testing. You'll do some more sniff testing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we smell lovely. Oh, oh yes, we are. Thank you. Yeah, we got the foreign wine eat, product. I'm not eating dog Thank treats. So <laughs> That's a look. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to rock it. It's <laughs> sweet to you, Elliot. Sweet to you. Put on the sweets then. It's near the fender. Why is there a ton of sweets up there? <laughs> Product was and it was boot polish. Yeah. Yes, that's what I was going to say. There we go. Thank you. There we go. We did now. <laughs> I've been listening. Teamwork makes a dream indeed, work. Indeed, indeed. But that's like over how many years ago? Can you do maths? Three hundred. That's mad, yeah. isn't it? Crazy, absolutely, absolutely crazy. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And amazing that it's gone from where it was to, to here. Yeah. Last time, last three years. Three years. Yeah. It's been brought out from England to be manufactured over here in Ireland. About to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. The basket is 100% a pack of those. What can we get next? Da, 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 da. So much choice I actually ought to get. But well, that's for me, for tap cleaning. Something for Banksy, something for Sam. I'm definitely not going to get a rug home as much as I could do with one of the fly rugs that has water repellency. But I'm not going to be getting that home in my suitcase, sadly, am I? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm a little bit in love with these. Been living in these the last few days, they're super comfy. How nice are the suede ones? Oh, do I get Sam Sam a collar? How am I going to be able to do it without measuring him? Oh, that one's a bit nice though. That might have to come home with me. Do we think that'll fit Sam Sam? What size does it say it is? Large? Age. Have they got a dog I can try it on? Yeah, I think he probably is a large. Oh, now I'm indecisive. That one's nice too. I like how padded it is. Right, he can definitely, although we were given some in our goodie bag, he can have some of those as well because he's going to have missed me. Ooh, look, I could just buy another suitcase. <laughs> then I can take stuff home. That's a bit of swish, isn't it? Oh, nice Willy Gogs blazer. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that's a bit nice. I oh, like that one. Nice colours. Yes. 
actually good. <laughs> oh, good boy. Okay, and you As want me to start with the question? Hmm? Yeah, if you, yeah, if you can yeah. incorporate yeah. it in, yeah. So what's the first one? <laughs> My plans for eventing this season with Banksy are coming around quite quickly actually because we have badminton grassroots in May which is six weeks away now so we're prepping for that at the moment. I've got two events entered prior to that. I've got a 90 at Portman, venues that I've never been to before so I thought throw myself in at the deep end, go to ones that are out of your comfort zone and put yourself in the position of going somewhere new in the build up so that hopefully it pays off. Us on the day when we get there in six weeks time. Am I? I am actually really excited and I think after our first event, fingers crossed providing that goes well, I will be even more excited but yeah I can't wait. It's like it's just going to be a really really fun week and it's just amazing that they host a competition like that at a venue where the five star runs as well so it will be an absolute privilege to ride there. <laughs> no. Um. I think that was a given. Sorry. <laughs> My biggest takeaway from this trip over here to Red Mills in Ireland has been primarily, well, lots of things really, but primarily the passion that all of the staff here have for the brand and their ethos and the love of the horse, the fact that the horse or the animal with regards to pet care and the products in the pet range as well. The animal is at the heart of everything. It's all centred around giving them the very best that they can give and the passion that all of the staff here have for that is just mind-blowing. And with having a horse with four white legs, my other go-to product is the purple stain removing shampoo. It helps lift all the grease and grime and gets those legs nice and white prior to eventing. Leon Leon Dolange in France for the Young Horse World Championships. Amazing. And what's your favourite discipline? Favourite discipline, being an event rider, always has to be cross country. I do love the dressage, um, but always will have to be cross country because, in my mind, socks look a little bit like this horse. It would have to be London 53. Thank you very much, Lee. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, I keep drowning in those blue eyes, and you can tell me all of your lies. I will put out all of the fire if it gets too dark. Oh, oh, I'll be. Cam, is this a bit nerve-wracking? A little bit. <laughs> Bye, Bye Emma! Thanks! <laughs> oh, now it's open. We're doing a bit of shopping now, really, Cam. But I don't think we have time. I don't think we have time. Oh, God, that security took a bit of a while. Did take a bit of a while. Yes. But at least we're through now. I don't think we have a try time for a hair of the dog. No. <laughs> Ready for a good night's sleep tonight. I should... Eight hours teaching tomorrow, two days teaching at Dingy on over the weekend, two days down in Cornwall next week, oh. and then back to every other digging. Busy, busy, busy. Let's go find our gate. Maybe with a horse. Maybe with a horse. Or maybe with a horse.